What's up everybody? So today we're going to investigate the new navigation reel that was added in Flutter 1.17 and then we're also going to show off how it's pretty much the same thing as the bottom navigation bar except set up a little different. You see both of them switch and work the same way pretty much. So let's get into the code. So here we have a super basic app. You just run the app and it sends you directly to this one navigation screen which is a staple widget and it's just a starter template. So to get the actual navigation rail in here, all you have to do is change the center to a row and then have some children in here. The children is gonna be the actual navigation rail. And inside, you're gonna need a bunch of properties like destinations, and selected index. All right. So we're gonna see a problem here because we need at least two things in the navigation rail or else it's not gonna work. So how do we add some destinations? Very simple as well. Navigation rail, navigation rail destination. And inside, we're gonna need three things, an icon, we could do icon, icon stock favorite border. And then we could do, have a different selected icon. If you don't have a different selected icon, it'll just be the same one whenever it's selected, but let's just add it just for the visual aspect. Icons.favorite with no border. And we can add a label as well that text and we'll say first and save that so we still have that problem we only have one in here we need at least two if we add another one and say second and do bookmark border and bookmark hopefully it will show up so the selected index also can't be null so let's create an index, int underscore selected index, and let's set it to zero at the beginning. And then instead of having a null here, do selected index. Now we should be able to see it, there we go. So we have it show up, but now if we click on something, we'll see we have an error. It says, method called on null. So that's because we don't have anything to happen once it on the click. So on destination selected, let's create a function on item tapped. Let's, let's create a function up here called void on item tapped. And we want to pass an index to it. And then inside, let's set state and the selected index should equal the index that we pass. So basically, whichever index we select, we pass it in here and make that the, the selected index that we're currently at. And that will change this as well. All right, so now it should be fully functioning. Yeah, we can click on it and everything. So notice, our label didn't show up. That's because there's another property called label type. And we can add navigation, rail, label type, and we could add all, and that'll show for all of them. We could add selected, and that will show only on the one we are at. And that's a pretty nice looking navigation rail already. So let's add one more just for demonstration. So there, we added a third one and everything's all good. So there's a couple other properties we could add to. You can check them all out, but there's, for, for example, unselected icon theme. And we could give theme data for that icon. So when it's not selected, let's say we want the color to be 
colors dot gray and 800 and see this changes to you can't really tell but let's change it to red you'll be able to tell better yeah see this changes to red and let's say we could change the selected icon theme and do the same thing except here let's make it black and same thing with selected label textile we could add a textile colors dot black we could add a, a background color for this whole thing overall we could do background color colors dot black and now let's change this to white so you could actually see it so you can customize it as much as you want so now we have the navigation rail pretty much figured out but we're not showing the according screen to our right so how do we add that so we take the navigation rail widget it ends here we could add a vertical divider if we want and you'll see you can't really see it background color white red red you see now there's a little vertical divider there makes it look a little nicer and then what we could do is add an expanded widget over here with a child of which screen so this function will return a widget that's going to be displayed here it's going to return a widget depending on which index we are in so here let's create a function that returns a widget like we said it's gonna be named wish screen we can set up widget return red val and then inside we can just set up a simple switch case with selected index and then if it's k0 right val equals text first screen and then we could add a couple other cases case one and case two second screen and finally third screen so now if we save it we should see here everything looks nice and it's it's in there but we could we could add it to center to make it look a little bit nicer so wrap with center do that to all of them it should look even better so there we go now we click on this third screen first screen second screen so that's pretty much it for navigation rail. There's a couple other properties you can check out. It's all pretty simple. And you can have nice navigation with a side panel or navigation rail as they call it. So there's one last thing I wanted to demonstrate is how similar this navigation rail is to the bottom navigation bar. All right, stop that. Um, so if we go to bottom navigation bar, we can add a bottom navigation bar. I don't know what's going on here. So you'll see we're missing a we're missing some a, an argument called items. So put that in, and then you can pretty much copy these from over here to down here. Except we have to make sure we change that to bottom navigation bar item. Control C, Control V, Control V. And instead of selected icon, it's active icon. And instead of label, it's just title. So we can do that here as well. Active icon. Change that to title. And there. Pretty much the same. 
And now we can also just take these, all of these pretty much. And not inside of items, we want to do it outside there. So instead of selected index, we have current index. Instead of on destination selected, we have on tap. So instead of label type, we want to do show unselected labels, set that to false. And then lastly, selected label text style is just selected label style. So when we click that, there we go. Everything's working except a selected label text style does not follow the color I gave it. After doing some Googling, it seems like this is a bug in the code, but there's an easy way to get past this. And it's just given a style up here of text style like that to all three. But that's, that's weird. I will file that bug with Flutter or get proven wrong that it's not a bug and I'm doing something wrong. But all right, there we go. So we have two exactly the same things set up. You can see bottom navigation bar is pretty much the same thing as navigation rail, but just set up a little differently. So that's it for this video. If you guys want more content about how to make more stylish Flutter apps, you can go check out my friend Mitch Coco's channel. He's one of my favorite Flutter designers out there. He's made a couple games. They all look really good. So go check that out. Uh, this code will be on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.